morning, Faith Lutheran, and welcome to another broadcast. Remember, next week is the FLNN's annual Spooky Broadcast. Today, let's hear from Addison as she reports on the biggest arts and craft event in Nevada. Addison? Hi, I'm Addison Binner with the FLNN. I'm here in Boulder City at Art in the Park. Whether it's jewelry, painting, clothes, or other creations, people come from all over the country to display their artwork. Let's go see what they're up to. There was painting, people, and denim galore. What's not to love? Everything at this event was handmade. All of the artists were truly dedicated to their work. Various forms of home decor were huge features at the park. Everything was unavoidably eye-catching. I couldn't resist. So what are you doing here at Art in the Park? I'm showing all my knitted jewelry that I've created, and I work with wire metal, silver gold, copper bronze, and rose gold to create necklaces, earrings, and bracelets, and I've been doing it for the past 15 years. This is all handcrafted event, so everybody comes in and they bring all their great ideas, and most of them travel around like I do. But no, it's a really great time and you get to see everybody's creativity come out. There's always something for everybody. That's what I enjoy most. Personally, I love the samples the most. So what are you doing at Art and Art today? We're selling our Grandma Sandino Sicilian sauce. It's garlic sauce that goes on everything. We've been making this for 33 years. This is our 10th year selling it. It's all okay, handmade, all friends. natural. There were trucks and stands selling incredible snacks. The food was delicious. A skewer of shrimp was the best seller. From fluffy puppies who couldn't turn down a scratch behind the ear, to cute canines who just wanted to be the stars of the show, dogs were everywhere. They were all so sweet and happy to be outside. This good pup got a new bandana at the fair. She rocked the look. Some even knew cool tricks. A special snake even made an appearance. Everyone here is so talented. In events like these, small businesses and local entrepreneurs thrive. Whenever art events come around Vegas, I highly recommend coming to support. I'm Addison Minner with the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Addison. Are you curious about the new movies that are playing at the theaters? Let's talk to Caden and hear his reviews on the most recent movies. Hi, I'm Caden Merrill, and welcome to the first ever episode of Movies to Look Out For. Just to give you a heads up, there will be spoilers in this segment. The movie I'm reviewing first is James Bond No Time to Die. I thought this was a really good movie and was unlike any other Bond movie I've seen before. The plot of the movie is that James Bond is trying to stop a bad guy from destroying the world via chemical warfare. The craziest thing that happens in the movie is that James Bond actually dies and he also has a kid in the movie. It's a really good movie and I give it 5 stars. The next movie I have not seen is Venom. It looks phenomenal, and it stars Tom Hardy and Woody Harrelson, and I can't wait to see it. The movie that has not come out yet is that looks very good is House of Gucci. House of Gucci is about the Gucci family, and that there is, was apparently crime involved in that family. Thanks for watching. Back to Sophia. Was Thank you, Caden. Echo groups are still a new thing here at Faith Lutheran. Let's pass it over to Emmy to learn more about Echo meetings and students' opinions on it. Emmy? Every Monday during advisory, ECHO leaders meet in the arena to prepare for the ECHO meetings that happen every week. Today, September 30th, is our first ECHO meeting. What is ECHO? ECHO is basically student-led where we just spread the word of God with our peers. Uh, ECHO is a time for our students to get together, um, meet new kids, develop relationships um, in, in places they normally wouldn't have that opportunity to. Um, hopefully eventually they build enough trust with their ECHO family that they can talk about things they're going through, have time to just relax with each other outside of a normal school day. How do you think the first ECHO meeting will go? I think it'll go really good because this meeting is just more to get the people to know each other and we're going to do a little like speed friending thing so it won't be too like serious. I didn't really like it at first but I feel like it's getting better and it was more fun the last meeting we had and I really like the food. so. I think today's kid feels so isolated that we wanted to provide them an opportunity that they could meet face-to-face -face with kids and just relax together and talk to each other. 
um, and have another opportunity and an outlet to get to know kids on our campus. And so we're going to try to bring our kids and our, our together. Uh, maybe our, our culture can change a little bit so that our kids can have another outlet to talk to each other. ECHO is a great opportunity for students to talk about God. I'm Emmy Como from the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Emmy. Well, that's all for this week's broadcast. From, thank you for tuning in. And from the FLNN, I'm Sophia Bonner. God bless.